Good evening, all, and welcome to the Board of Education meeting of September 11th, 2023. Can I please have a motion to open the meeting? That's one, Tom. Two is Kelly. All in favor? <laughs> that is everyone. Love it. It is part of the recommendation of the Superintendent of Schools that the Board of Education enter an executive session to discuss a specific legal matter and collective bargaining in accordance with the open meetings law. Can I have a motion, please? Michelle, Christine, seconds. All in favor? That is everyone. Should be back at approximately 7.30ish. Welcome back. Welcome to the 9-11 regular business meeting of the Huntington Board of Education. Can I please have a motion to return to our regular business meeting? One by Michelle, second by Christine. All in favor? We're back in. Let's stand for the Pledge of Allegiance, please. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, In honor and memory of those who have lost their lives on September 11, 2001, the Huntington School Chamber Choir will sing God Bless America today, followed by the playing of taps. Uh, the taps will be played by Dana, Dana, Dana Garcia and Liam Lavertu. A moment of silence now. We can all face just a few minutes. Moment of silence. So a reminder that we have exits in the back and the side of the auditorium. We should direct ourselves to the illuminated exit signs in case of an emergency. And this is a smoke-free campus. Smoking is not permitted. We'll wait a little bit for the students to exit. Thank you. We'll go right into our approvals 
FYIs, it is upon recommendation from the superintendent of schools that the Board of Education approved minutes from the meeting of the Huntington Union Free School Board of Education dated August 28th, 2023. Can I have a motion, please? Uh, Teresa, one, and Tom, two. All in favor? That is everyone. We have three. FYIs, one is a budget appropriation reports for general school lunch and special aid funds. Another one is a claims audit report. And a third is the revenue status report as of 8-31-2023. Moving on to our treasurer's report, it is upon recommendation from the superintendent of schools that the Board of Education approve the July 2023 treasurer's report. Can I have a motion, please? Bill one, Christine second. All in favor? That's everyone. And then we move on to the warrants. It is my recommendation from the superintendent of schools that the Board of Education approve the attached warrants, which was certified for payments on August 30th, 2023. Can I have a motion, please? Kelly, first motion. Bill second. All in favor? That is everyone. I like the new configuration. It really makes it easy. I can see you, Kelly. It's nice. No blind spots. Oh, the lights? Well, I don't know. I don't have control over those lights. All right. That brings us to the board communications and announcement. The mic is now open to any board member who has a communication or announcement. That's uh, Christine, I see you grabbing a mic. I just wanted to welcome Mr. Bowen to his first official school board meeting as superintendent. And I hope that everyone's been treating you well for the last week. Has it been more than a week? Uh, barely. <laughs> <laughs> and yes, they have. Thank you. Hey, you took the words out of my mouth. Uh, welcome. And it, Mike is yours now. Oh. Uh, relative to that, I'd, I'd like to turn it back to you and, and recognize and thank the entire board. Uh, for your time and dedication throughout the hiring process and our time since as well. Uh, you have demonstrated great pride in serving this amazing community, and I look forward to the many great things to come. I would also like to acknowledge uh, the administrative team, some on this side, some in the audience. Um, they as well have been very welcoming. Uh, I'm grateful for them and, and looking forward to our ongoing collaboration uh, throughout this year. Uh, and lastly, to the community as a whole, uh, I'm very honored to be part of the family. I've circulated the buildings, been to various events, and look forward to many more uh, in the coming year. There are some, <clears throat> excuse me, announcements I'd like to share with the community. First is our CEP. Uh, just a reminder that parents, you don't need to pay for breakfast and lunch. Uh, as part of that, the only thing you would need to add money to is if you're buying snacks and other things uh, as part of that. So. Uh, I did put out notification to all the families, but I'd like to publicly remind them of that. Uh, the openings of school went very well, minus the extreme heat uh, that obviously caused some delays in athletics and other after-school events. Uh, on Friday, it did break a little bit, uh, so we had two block parties on Friday afternoon, and we have two more coming up on the following Fridays. One thing I would also like to, to share publicly is uh, a, a great thanks uh, and recognition to the board because we have air conditioning in our classrooms and, and that was truly uh, a lifesaver for our students. Uh, it provided them quality time to focus on the instruction that was needed, so thank you. Um, one thing I'd also like to share out uh, is that there's quite a bit on the calendar coming up. Uh, one thing that I was just notified in the past couple of days is our Unity, Unity Day Parade, which is on September 30th, uh, that starts at the high school at 10 a.m. and then goes down Oakwood. Uh, so if you're around and would like to join, please do so. Uh, and relative today, it is pretty crazy that it's been 22 years uh, since 9-11. Uh, our, our entire student body was born after that date. Uh, I checked eSchool. Uh, but I'd like to recognize you know, our, our buildings for their recognition of today, uh, they all had a moment of silence. I saw a lot of red, white, and blue in the hallways, both by staff and students. Uh, there was some reading of books, some watching of videos, 
writing reflections about their heroes and all of those uh, in service. Uh, there are also some gallery walks and, and instructional lessons at the secondary level. Uh, and this morning, uh, Brenda facilitated a dignified ceremony similar to what you saw on stage tonight uh, and did that uh, at 9.41 this morning over at the high school. Uh, so those are my announcements. I'm looking forward to a great year ahead of us. Thank you, Mr. Bone. And I've seen you making your rounds around to some of the sporting events. Hope you're enjoying them. Lots of fun. Uh, we'll open it now to the public commentary. Public commentary is open to the res to residents and employees of the district. It's limited to three non-transferable minutes per person, maximum of 30 minutes uh, total for all comments. We will open it up again for a second uh, public commentary towards the end of the meeting. We will start with comments related to today's regular business meeting, items for discussion and action. Please, when you get up there, identify yourself, your affiliation to the district, um, and refrain from naming any students or employees of the district. Let's hold people back, they're rushing, okay. We will, as I said, we'll open it up again later. Um, we'll move on now to the items for discussion and action. It is my recommendation from the Superintendent of Schools that the Board of Education adopt the school building safety plans for the 2023 school year. Can I have a motion? Christine, Tom, second. Mr. Bone. So the, the safety plans, generally speaking, are similar to uh, what was put forward last year. I want to thank Mr. Stein. Uh, over the summer, he works with each of our buildings and the safety team in each of those buildings. And then even today, he, he met with one of our primaries and will be doing so with all of our buildings to review the plans, making sure everyone has a good understanding of what that entails. I would also like to share that these plans are shared with Suffolk County PD. Uh, and that's an important piece because they are part of our safety plans and messages that go out. Uh, so again, I'd like to thank Mr. Stein for his work. Great. And these plans are in direct alignment with the educational law section 2801 uh, and the district court by plan. And obviously they cannot be shared publicly. Any questions? Yes, that is a good point. Thank you. Great. Any questions or comments? All in favor? That's everyone. Moving on to NISPA. 2023 resolutions it is my recommendation from the superintendent of schools that a delegate be appointed to represent Huntington UFSD, UFSD at the NISPA annual business meeting. So many acronyms, right? Um, can I have a motion, please? Kelly, anyone else? No motions? And Bill. And now we need to appoint somebody. I think that uh, we had a little discussion about Teresa doing it. Yeah. So. And Mrs. Sullivan did it for us last year. I think she had a great time, and that's why she's volunteering to do it again. Yeah. Well, we'll both be at the dinner, but we just, I just, yeah. I rely, I know, but still. And I want to thank uh, Christine for taking my place since I have a conflict on the 27th. So thanks for filling in. You're going to have a great time. Can't wait. All right, so we appoint Teresa Sullivan as our delegate. All in favor? That is everyone. And moving on to curriculum and instruction. It is upon recommendation from the superintendent of schools that the Board of Education approve CSE, CPSC submissions as delineated. Any motion? Christine? Tom? All in favor? That's everyone. It is upon recommendation from the superintendent of schools that the Board of Education adopt the attached district special education plan for the 20... From 2023 through 2025. And that's a two year plan. Right. Can I have a motion? Kelly? Christine, second. Any questions? I do have a question. There, there don't seem to be any real significant changes. It seems sort of standard. The only adjustments were on page 109 where the budget is. It's just <laughs> yeah. a little bit of a detail change there. Okay. That's it. Okay. Thank you. Anyone else? And the enrollment numbers, I assume. Excuse me? The enrollment numbers, yes. Yeah. And thank you to Ms. Rich for preparing the special education plan and updating it every two years. We appreciate it. All in favor? That is everyone. Personnel. Okay, it is upon recommendation from the superintendent of schools that the Board of Education approve personnel items on schedules 3, 4, 6, 8, 10, 
13, 16, 20, and 22. Can I have a motion? Bill, Tom, any questions? All in favor? That is everything. Okay, we have a few announcements, uh, a few new hires. We have Caroline Coffey, who is a Huntington High School alumni, who will be a teaching assistant at Woodhull Intermediate School, so welcome. We have Matthew Sarinero, who uh, worked as an aide at Huntington High School and is now being promoted to a teaching assistant, so welcome aboard in a new capacity. We have Maureen um, Gamachia, who I, she told me her last name today. I think I got that one right. Uh, she is a reading teacher at South Down Primary School, so welcome aboard. And we have Amanda Schaefer, who is going to be our student support advisor at Finley Middle School, and I believe she is here today, so welcome aboard. And then we also have on schedule for our part-time hire, uh, John Walsh, who goes by Jake. He is going to be at Woodhull Intermediate School. He's doing our intro to theater over at Woodhull, so welcome aboard as well. Congratulations and welcome. Um, the business segment section is going to be done by Mr. Bowen. Uh, Dr. Ruby Harris was unable to attend today. Yes, I recommend to the board moving forward items I through M as listed. Can I have a motion? Michelle, Teresa, any questions? All in favor? That's everything. One highlight in there is the Huntington High School marching band heading up to Syracuse at the end of October. Good luck. Yo, yo, luck. And they looked great the other day at practice. Early on, which is amazing. Yeah, good for them. All right, we're moving on to public commentary, our second uh, session of public commentary. <laughs> I think I'm trying to make it as slow as possible, but all right, we're moving on then to comments by board members. Uh, well, in addition then to wel welcoming Mr. Bowen on board, not that we are ever in a rush to get through these meetings, but putting up a sub 30 for your first meeting, <laughs> good job. Mr. Bowen made it easy. He didn't put a lot on there. I'll give him some credit. <laughs> well, we have a football game to go home and watch. Oh, yeah. I hope it's better than last night's game. Yeah. That was horrible. It was Giants. Anyway, motion to adjourn. Christine, Teresa, second. All in favor? That's everyone. Thank you, everyone. Yeah.